Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Yep. That's what our UPS store looks like. We go in there and get the packages that you guys send us. It's awesome. There's two fans of snack food. It's two fans of food and snack food and anything that's edible in general. We're on the quest to find the three different flavors of Lay's Do Us a Flavor <laughs> pun contest. The new Lay's Do Us a Flavor finalists are here and they're competing for your vote. I love that kick at the end. How do they do that? I don't know. It's so good. Try all three and vote at Lay's.com. So we thought before this contest ended, you're as good as dead, old man. I think that's a woman. That guy, oh, that's, okay? that's a guy. <laughs> We're gonna let you know which one we like best if we can find them. We're at CVS. Kettle cooked, what am I looking for? Ooh, those do look good though. That's not them. What the hell? Got a lot of lays, but not the contest lays. How are people supposed to judge this? CVS, no go on all three flavors. Now we're hitting up Walgreens. That's another pharmacy. Oh, it's across the street, so nobody freak the out because I don't have my seatbelt on for a fucking 10 foot goddamn drive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fingers crossed, see you inside. Damn. This is why you read. They only sell them on Amazon, at Subway, and at Walmart, so. <laughs> I think people are gonna be mad if I wear it like this. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that, they get mad at you. Or what if I click it, but I have it behind me. Here, go right. We do this for you guys. Do you like it? Yeah, we're doing a video for Lay's, and I was trying oh. to find, because Subway's one of the only places that sells these. Oh. So, we found them finally. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to my local Subway to have all of them and be the nicest people in the world. I love Lakeview. Three, do us a flavor contest, Lay's chips acquired, crispy taco, everything bagel with cream cheese, and fried green tomato. Headed to the studio, gonna open these up, eat them in front of you guys. Jump cut! Not a brewing view, don't freak out. We're, Sometimes we just, we're drink. just drunk. <laughs> but we are gonna start off with a package. We got the goods. goods. That was terrible. Let's do that again. We, we got, got the goods. goods. We got the goods. Might as well open up this box. You wanna open this bad boy? Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Made quick work of that. <laughs> whoa, cool, and whoa, cool too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> the <laughs> gifts just keep. <laughs> Oh, is that a bottle opener? Yeah. What are, what are we looking at here? Hey, Sean and Corey. Someone got me one of these a while back, and they're pretty amazing oh, for sweet. keeping your beer cold, or Sean keeps your fancy seltzer cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink LaCroix anymore. Kip. Kip, who is a patron of this series. Kip, you a bomb. Dude, Thank you for cool. writing this beautiful note. Oh, this is like a man's koozie. Yeah, these... Strutting, preening, posturing, hairy, sweaty, alpha male jack-offs. Whoa, shoot. So you take this off. What is this you for? You slide this in, and that fits perfectly, by the way. Holy crap. And then if you want to take it to uh, your kid's basketball game and they don't allow beverages, you put it in here, and they don't even know, you don't even know what it is. So sneak it into little kids' sporting <laughs> events, and then you just- Dude, look at this thing. And then you can take it out, drink it, uh-oh, parents are looking. Looking at what, though? Looking at nothing. Oh, that is too funny, I don't dude. think that's a, this part. No, really I don't think. But look at this. But this thing's sweet, though. Holy crap. Cheers. Cheers, dude, Kip, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Also, how insane is it that we had beers for this? Yeah, right? We didn't, we didn't know that we were going to be. We literally decided to do this five minutes ago. Vacuum insulated technology. Oh, look at that. We also got some Garnier Fructis in our mailbox. I addressed see. to me because your hair's probably, that was awesome. Yeah. Probably because your hair's already luscious and gorgeous. Luscious. They, they thought maybe I could have some help. Yeah. So it's um, shampoo and conditioner. Thank you, uh, Garnier Fructis, for direct mail, which I don't think you sent us this. It's just you get a UPS store, you get some freebies. Yeah. Now for the, we're going to jump right into the old uh, mukbang. Welcome to another mukbang Monday. We're your hosts, Sean and Corey. Which you might remember from Boy Meets World. We haven't heard that yet. You lied to Topanga! Only took two subways, a CVS, and a Walgreens to find it, but <laughs> we got it. Like we said, three different people are responsible for these three different chips, so they're going against each other. Oh, people suggested these? These are from specific 
cumins. The order that they are on the site is crispy taco, bagel, tomato. Do you want to stick to the order? No, because here's what I specifically did this order for. Okay. Because I want to end with the best, and I think this is going to be the most garbage, this is going to be the second best, this is going to be the best. I don't want to eat, end eating garbage. Okay, so start with fried green tomato. Is that from, possible? From Gregory Pope of Charlotte, North Carolina. Gregory Pope, huh? Gregory said, fried green tomatoes remind me of my childhood in Georgia. Fried to a golden brown, salted and peppered, they were always the perfect feel-good food prepped by my dad for our family dinners. Yeah, I've seen something that would happen in Georgia. You want some veggies? Look at this picture. I don't think it's going to taste as good as that. Dude, fried green tomatoes are incredible. I've never I had them. I love fried green tomatoes. So Gregory, hopefully we find you on social media and we tag you and you watch this. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. So keep in mind, look at this. These are wavy, these are kettle cooked, and these are regular. So they're all the different styles Whoa. of glaze too. So that might hinder or help your thoughts. Okay, looks pretty good. Based off looks, I see herbs. Smells really good. I see herbs and spice does smell really good. Fried green tomato, cheers. Sure. Gregory, for you. Got a little, almost a little sour cream and onion type flavor. I want to dip this in French onion dip. Yeah. Most potato chips That's for good, Lay's though. need dip. I do like that. Okay. I like Solid. That. Now this really sucks though. I gotta go put wave against kettle cook because kettle's so goddamn good. You yeah, know? kettle cooked I think is my favorite style of Lay's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna drink out of my thermos. Oh yeah, to wash it down, get a new clean palette. Let's clean our palettes out with some Bud Light. All right, you want to read some info on this next yes, person? Yes, absolutely. Oh my God, I know her. Shut you up. No way. I know, I don't. <laughs> Lindsay Hoffman. All right, Lindsay, give us the rundown. There's no better way to start your day than with an everything bagel with cream cheese. That's true. It be, It's become my favorite morning ritual. Oh, Palm City, Florida. Alexa, where is Palm City, Florida? I mean, I got to give it to her. I do love an everything bagel. Palm City is a town in Martin County, Florida. It is 330 miles. 532 kilometers southeast of Tallahassee and 8.6 miles, 14 kilometers southeast of Port St. Lucie. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. I like the packaging on this stuff, though. I think Lay's has got some baller marketing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Check it out. I, can, I can't go from having air in there to no air. Wow. Yeah. I know how. I know how noses work. I'm high. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm high from the scent. I didn't smoke before this. Oh, this is kind of like a, this would be perfect dipper. Look at this. Oh, commercial for Lay's. <laughs> Look how great this would dip. Look at the Oh my God, that's that. perfect. This looks like a cat's tongue. Well, put it in your tongue like a tongue. I got it. Cheers. Wow. At first I was like, eh, and then an aftertaste came through. I didn't get much flavor right away, but then I did. Yeah. It yeah. took a couple seconds. That's the old aftertaste. I love how crunky these are, man. But this was Lindsay's idea to make sure that everything bagel was kettle cooked so it's crunchier like a bagel that's toasted. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this beast. Oh, that looks good. Okay. This is gonna be tough. They're both good. Mm-hmm. Like I would, if I was in a store and wanted chips, I would get either one of those so mm -hmm. far. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to circle back. Yeah, all right, you wanna read up on our San Antonio girl? Ellen Serum from San Antonio, Texas wanted some crispy taco flavored chips. I got high hopes for this. My fiance loves crunchy beef tacos more than anything. Man, he should be a guest on the show. Or he should not marry a woman when he loves chips more than her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta prioritize, bro. <laughs> I actually made them for one of our first dates, and after three years, I can now finally say that I've mastered cooking his favorite dish. I have a couple things uh, to say to that. Smart. If both. mastering crunchy tacos takes three years, I'm concerned with you. Or impressed. Sure. Maybe hers are just that unreal. Maybe it's I really, you know what, Corey? I hope so. An actual mastery of it. Although I have to imagine they're probably like everybody else's. And she's <laughs> just been, oh wow, those smell very tacoy. They smell like it cute. smells like they just took taco seasoning and, and sprinkled it in there. Yeah, it smells just like taco seasoning. These are traditional lays, so it's that flaky, kind of light, airy feel. Those are good too. These taste most like the thing that they're supposed to taste like, in my opinion. Now, granted, I haven't had fried green, to fried green tomatoes. That's true. But this actually has like a taco-y, that season, uh, of course, the seasoning for a taco is so distinct and works so well with the chips, of course. And you nailed it on the head. 
It tastes like somebody dumped a bunch of seasoning from a taco packet into a bag of Lay's. Which not, is, is not necessarily cumin? a bad thing. I think that's that, that flavor that you're getting a lot. Cumin, I, very I cumin. Cumin is a big part of the, which I'm a huge cumin guy. Me and my dad talk about this all the time because my mom doesn't like cumin and it pisses my dad off because he wants to season everything with it. Oh wow. Somehow, cumin isn't an ingredient, but it literally tastes like straight cumin to me. Crispy taco seasoning. Whatever's in that crispy taco seasoning is probably cumin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sort of good. Mm -hmm. They put whey in here? Getting jacked, bro. That's how they get the protein. Whey protein concentrate. Wow. I, they're all really good. Yeah, Lay's good on you. I did not expect all three of these to be good. At least one dud. Which one of these would you guys think that you would like the most? If you haven't tried these, if you're not a chip person, which one would you probably reach for in a Subway, Walmart, or Amazon.com shopping cart, you know? You know, I am glad though that they started at least doing that the size, this was, the serving size is this entire bag. Yeah. It used to be like- I don't wanna do math, I gotta bust out a calculator. Also, don't give me double, just give me enough for one yeah, serving. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna, you know I'm not gonna stop. You Who are you kidding? Who's eating one serving when this is, if this, if they Who's give you, they the chip clip do, on this? Yeah, you know? All right, now I'm gonna start doing some back-to-backs. Me too. I'm gonna go back to tomato. I have a gold, silver, bronze. Okay, Corey's side, my side. We can't see what the other one is writing, and then we'll do a reveal. I don't. After like the second or third chip from each one, I kind of started to be like, all right, what one would I have more of? You know? Dude, when you put all three next to each other, it smells like a locker room. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. I'm ready. I'm looking down. Don't look. This is Corey's three. This is my three. Not looking. Did you see? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Fried green tomato taco bagel. Yeah, dude. Whoa. Yeah. You see me? I did. I saw yours. I think bagel's the best, then taco, then tomato. I think tomato was the least prominent taste. Yes. That's why I picked it the number one. I don't like too much of a flavor. Okay. I think that, I, that was, it was difficult because, because this was the most prominent taste, the taco, but it was also, I, I thought, so it's kind of like, do I like a lot of flavor in my face or do I like a little bit of flavor in my face? And I ate them both back and forth a bunch of times. I was like, you know what? I would definitely eat more of these. And these just right out of the gates, I was, they were good. But compared to both, I like both of these both better than this instantly. All right, surprising choice, right? How about this? If one of our choices wins the whole thing, what is the bet? Me and my girlfriend usually bet. Uh, oh, nice! I'm like excited fellatio. for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can switch it up. Anal. <laughs> All right, how about we we'll leave it up to all of our fans? Don't no, we're going. We're going to pick the thing, but give monsters. your give your suggestion below this video in a comment no, with what the loser should do. We'll pick our favorite one. Man, you're going to trust these fools. Well, someone, you know, we got people like Dev and Amanda who will be good to us. <laughs> yeah. Let us know which one of those you guys I'll like best. I'll let you hit me on the arm with that uh, cactus if I lose. If I can hit you on the face with it. We could staple each other's arms. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, do, I'll take a staple. See, I've never done that and that scares me. I'll do more physical pain than I will do. Gross eating pain. Yeah, just having to throw up. I hate throwing up. Yeah, it does And I suck. hate throw up videos. I don't ever want to be one of those guys. It's not worth the views to me because that's just like, dude, that's just, that's really, that's some lowbrow humor. We're like, yeah, you see I got 10,000 views. Be like, why? I threw up a bunch. Like, damn, bro, that's how sad your life is. Yeah. All right, I don't, just end this video. They know what to do. <sighs> Eat it, bitch, it's always good. Thank you for watching another Mukbang Monday. This was fun to kind this? of get- You don't get chest hair, do you? Yeah, I do. I'll shave your name into my chest, if, or your initials into my chest. Mine doesn't get like super thick. Cause mine, you can get, you can get your initials on that probably. Man, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? My girlfriend gets mad if I twist him into a little... Do you think this looks weird? Start twisting. What in the hell? Thanks again, Kip. These are seriously amazing.